Primation, we are heading on a bit of a tour today. We're going to head off on holiday. We are going to go ahead and head to the snow biome. We're going to take a break from the building. We've built the airstrip in the last episode. We've got the big old farm, the base, the horde. base. We've got a couple of days to horde. So we're going to spend a few days out taking a vacation over in the snow biome. We're going to try and get an M16 for that. We need lots and lots of looting. So in today's episode, Primation, we're going to go ahead, get a few missions done. Lots of loot. And I think we need 20 books in total to make us a level 6 M60. So let's go and build a cabin in the woods. Let's take a vacation. I'm going to see you all in the snow biome. We're going to lay it down right outside the trader. Drop this bad boy off and start today's episode. So Primation, welcome back. We have been grinding super, super hard to get the base ready. We've done a couple of crops of super corn. We've made loads of money. We've got loads back at base. I did bring, where's the little droney All lady? All these help. bits and pieces. We've got bike, which we're going to set down now. I've got some extra bullets, extra healings. I did bring a stack of cash just in case we need to buy anything. But let's quickly take out the mods from here, plonk them in the bike. And what we're going to do in the next couple of in-game days, Primation, is, uh, how do I do this? Uh, we need to, oh, duty. wrong one. We need to go ahead and do some missions in the snow biome. I do like this biome. We spent not enough time here as much as I wanted to. And I want to come in here and do some missions. There's some tier 4s and tier 5s around here, I believe. And I think we even got one in our inventory, uh, sorry, in our quest mission as we speak. Uh, no, that's 5k. Great. Let's go quickly pick up a mission. And again, what we're going to try and do is try and get enough resources to make ourselves a tier 6 M6. I do want to try and get one for the horde. That would be great. It is three days away. Three days indeed, which um, is 20 bucks. Easy to get in three days. Probably not, but we are definitely, definitely going to try. So north is the desert. So we need to go east or west. At northwest, would you be I think or an I army post? Let's have a little look. Are you in the desert? Ah, bug you are. So we need to go strictly, yeah, strictly east, west, or south. So let's have another look again. Aha, uh -huh. 1.4 east. This is a fetching clear. It's only a tier 4 duty, which, oh, we've done one of these before. And we called in some screamers and we nearly died several times. It was really, really bad. But I think, I don't think this is the same biome. I think we've done it in the desert, but nonetheless, it's going to be fun. I want to stick around the snow. I want to have a bit of a, um, a bit of a skiing holiday as such, a bit of a tundra holiday. So I'm going to spend the next couple of days going a bit nomad. We'll say nomad. We're going to build a little cabin in the woods, actually, somewhere around here. Put a nice little cabin as we have a, Kind of a, a, a holiday home, a summer home to go to. But let's get over here to start this mission and let's see if we can get as many books as physically possible to make an M60. Oh, dearie, dearie me. I stand absolutely corrected. This was the one that we came to last time and I got my booty absolutely handed to me. I was, I was, I was given a bunch of humble pie to eat in this one. I do record it, but it wasn't the mission itself. It was the, um, the Screamer Horde which came along with it. So if I could do my best to try to prevent any Screamer Horse today, we may, we just may be able to get through this. It's a little bit easier than last time. I don't need too much in today's episode. What, I don't really need money. What I'm really looking for, more than anything, is the books. And other than the books, pretty much nothing to for sale, but all the plastics. I've got a big, big plan for plastics. And we're going to need about two, possibly even 3,000 plastics at some point after the Horde in the near future. So I do need to make sure... I keep my ears and eyes out for anything plastic. Let's run you outside. Let's have a little go out here, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Bring the booty cheeks up here so I can smack them with my... Wait, that sounded really bad. I won't finish that sentence, actually. I'll leave that sentence remained unfinished. Now, you may have noticed already for those keen listeners on the Primation YouTube network that I am actually trying to speak a little bit slower today. I've had some feedback from you guys, and my natural, my natural speaking, talking um, self, I do talk quite quick. I'm very much, ooh, very much aware of that. I very much know that, and that's just me. That's just just who I am. So, and, oh, sorry, a couple of you guys did say I talk far too fast, and I think it could be cut in the old, uh, the old YouTube. So I'm gonna do my absolute best to slow down a little bit, try and be a little bit more calmer in my demeanour and see how it goes. So please, feedback is super, super important. I can only get better and bring you guys better vids if you do give me some feedback. So have a little think, and if, <laughs> that's the most worst, worst thing ever. If you do find today being a bit of a bitter episode, please do give me that feedback. I would really, really, really appreciate it. Be able to that forever do. I'm gonna go through the mission first of all, come back for things like this, and just hack everything up for all of the resources. Uh, before I uh, go and smack some zombies in the face, I did finish, Oh, ouch, like I did finish up the base in a sense that I I crafted, what did I craft? I was a bit, 
I did craft five, no, I crafted 14 more lights back at base. I put five of them on the helipad that we made in the last episode. And that left us with one single electrical part left in the base. So whilst we're here today, I do need to go ahead and also wrench up all of the things to, oh, that's a big guy. All of the things to allow us to have enough mechanical parts going forward because there's absolutely zero in the base. Without further ado, let's see if we can just start killing some of these olders. I think we're heading down into the main loot room area. I think this is... Oh, we've got mutants. Oh, why am I not hitting... I tried to lock the door. I did. Yes, these guys here. Super duper tanky. Did you hit me through the door, you cheeky little bugger? So if we can try and kill these guys off. Yes. Uh, no, it's the little screamer that got me through. The lot of screamer, the spider. All right, let's run you up. I did smash this door open right here. So I can try and get them up somewhere higher to try and fight them. This guy spitting is a problem with this one. Spider's just because he does little cuts on your legs underneath, which is never fun. Come on, my guys. There you go. Oh, that was a one-shot one kill. Get you in the face. No, I could just I'm knock it down the stairs. Oh, no, he didn't die. Oh, he glitched through the wall. That's not good. I have to go find him in just a hot minute. Let's take out this uh, blowy guy first. I'm trying not to use my weapons as much as possible. Absolutely as much as possible, because that is one of the, what brings in screamers. Come on, come on. I was supposed to eat... I think he's in the wall. I was supposed to eat and drink some water and stuff before I got in here. Oh, where is he? But I completely forgot. I did actually switch up the one spaghetti and the one... I think it was a meat shoe or something along those lines. Where is he? Is he outside? Oh, I think he is. Let's open this up real quick. I think he just might be. Yeah, in you come, my little guy. Sweet return to trader. That was quick and easy compared to before. Before it took such a long time. But here, not so bad. Let's go to the main, main loot room first. And I'll swing back inside and grab all the bits and pieces. Pick up as much clay, all of the food as possible. I think this is all good. You're locked. But I can get you from the other side. Here's the main loot right here. So first things first, open this. And this. And also open this. Five bloody lockpicks. <laughs> what a hell of a lot of lockpicks. Um, so many stuff like this. We, we don't need any of this. We've got more than we'll ever need. So we'll just we'll read the easy books, but we'll probably sell some of the other ones. Now, I don't really need to keep many things. We've got most of what we want. All we're really doing now is looking forward to getting to the bigger and better hordes. <gasps> Here's what we're here for. Tactical Warfare. Read that. We are now 85. So that's 15 books left. We can make a tier 6. Oops, a daisy. A tier 6 M60. Bits and pieces. Auto shotgun fortitude models looking for this a long time ago and we've only found it now we'll read that one uh the rest uh, this one will read the rest we'll just take we'll probably end up selling that but fortune mod is it's interesting it's interesting to have nothing else right now mushrooms don't need we've got 500 mushrooms i believe you give plastic yes you do we'll check the little trashes as well and this is pretty much what i'm going to be doing is getting everything that gives me paper everything that gives me plastic more than anything i'll search things like cars i'll pick up tires all that kind of good stuff when i've gone through the entire poi i'll bring you back and show you exactly what i've picked up There we go. I think we are done. I've got as much as I physically can. The whole thing. Oh, I missed a couple of lights, actually. The whole thing is almost done. Let's get these last two little lights if we can. And I'll show you exactly what we picked up in this whole shenanigans. Can you wrench this down? 10,000. Uh, probably not worth it. It's probably not worth the time to go ahead and do that. Let's quickly look in here because I think there's two or more little tiny bits in here. Oh, we'll take the shotgun parts for sure. And I think that's it. Can we get the tractor? Ah, oh, do you know what? We'll get this as well. Last one. Sweet. Where's my little drone? Come here, darling. Right. This is what we have so far. Ignore the bullets and that that we brought. We've got a few bits and pieces, mods, bit of leather. We have 77 electrical parts ready. Um, here's some bits and pieces that we've got here as well. Some stuff to sell. Got battery. 
yeah, just some, just some shenanigans. I'm actually going to start saving these because we are going to do a couple of missions. But all in all, we've got a few bits and pieces. So all I'm going to do now is rush back to the trader. Hand these. Oh, we're going here as well. Hand these bad boys in. Give to me your electrical parts, sir. Oh, thank you very much. And then I'll hand this in. I might take a nighttime turn on generator mission because that'll give us a couple of hours to go get some wood and build a nice little home over in the snow biome. A nice little wood, uh, wood cabin. <clears throat> wood cabin, excuse me, in the snow. Let's go hand this in and let's see what we can build. So we got through that entire mission only firing Good. literally a couple Good. of bullets. So let's see what this guy is going to give sure us. Let's make some space. Uh, we're we're going to go down. for... Even though we don't really need the cement. No, no, we're going to go for the gunpowder first and foremost. We've got tons of recog, we've got tons of beakers and chem stations. Tons of fort bites, so cement does seem like the, the smart option. Let me get a little 1,800 quid. Oh, what's, th what's, what's this? Reward tier 5 complete. What's that first one then? Oh, maybe. Oh, wait, this is when you get like 5, 10, 15 missions, isn't it? Right, let's go for... Uh, oh, an auto turret bundle. <laughs> Should we get more auto turrets? We've got, Jesus, we've got 18 up at the moment. But do we need more? That is the question. Shotgun crafting. We might get some more parts. Maybe some bullets, but we can make tons of those. Don't really need the mods. Yeah, should I go for auto turrets? I, I want to make some more for, a, a, again, another plan I have a bit later on to end the series. But we could probably make a load. But let's just do it. Should we go for auto turrets? Let's just... Oh, we could do two. Auto and shotgun. Sounds like a plan. And let me clear some inventory space. Sweet. And I think we are done. Come here, little drone. I have cleared the drone earlier. And I've got a lot of stuff over in the bike as well. So let's see. Can we get that nighttime mission before you close? Uh, tier 5, tier 5. North, north, north. Uh, east. Never eat shredded wheat. Yes. East. Only 500. A calm in. Never done it. Fantastic. But I was saying that. We can go in there at 10 o'clock, can't we? So we could go there right now. But what I would like to do before we do that, we need to clear some inventory space. And we need to make a little base. I'm not sure if I'm going to build the base right now. I might just make a couple of boxes just to set straight, just to keep us in a nice, um, nice free inventory. Let's grab a couple of trees real quick, first of all. Oh, a couple of honeys there. Fantastic. Building blocks. Just make, yeah, make 200 and odd. Why not? Actually, cancel that. We need to make storage first. Let's just make five. Then make the building blocks. That is really, really noisy. Then maybe after this mission, we can go and grab a whole bunch of trees and build us a nice little cozy shack out here. Let me wait for these to craft, get the inventory cleared, and I'll see you guys over at the next mission. 10 o'clock at night, and I've definitely not done this one before. Oh, there's a dog kennel already. Definitely, definitely not done this one. Did you see me? I think you did. Let's take off his head real quick. just like so so let's get this show on the road let's just get cracking and just kill absolutely oh handguns uh use everything 41 out of uh 100 wait magnum oh yes because the desert vulture is better than the magnum right gotcha okay so this is a was it a tier four was it hold up it was a tier tier four yes let's just do the thing oh oh what was that we do have to restore power I thought something spawned behind me. Uh, there's loads of things coming now. <laughs> so I'm going to hazard a guess that this is going to be absolute carnage, absolute chaos, and absolute bad things are going to happen. Yes, let's do the usual. Let's wake everything up. Everything being a singular zombie. Interesting. Goodbye, singular zombie. Let's wake everything up. No? Is it, Does everything not want to... Oh, there we go. It's, it's awake. They're awake. Now meet me outside where we've got some space... Uh, can we close this? We can. <laughs> that may keep him at bay for one whole second if I am lucky. Quickly now. Quickly, quickly now. There's that one second I was talking about. And that's the drone. I thought it was another zombie behind me. These guys are still... These spiders actually are really tanky. I didn't realise. The radiated spiders. Super tanky. The non-radiated. Very squishy. But you know what I did yet? Oh, that was a jump attack. Did you see the jump attack? By the old, by the old uh, copper. He definitely, definitely did. Because I saw it too. High behind here. There's that stamina regen I was looking for in the last... Ooh, stamina regen I was looking for in the last mission. I'm trying to hide from that cop spit whilst taking these guys out if I can. He's right behind there. There we go. There's one spit. Uh, are you dead? You are dead. You're getting a bit close for comfort, young sir. And you're also dead. Fantastic. There's a big guy. Just like last time. Go on, do it. Yes, just like last time, we're going to kill absolutely 
everything we can and then go around looting the place up. We didn't call any screamers in in the last quest, which I was quite surprised at. Maybe because we wasn't using the junk to four books. Exactly what we want. 91 out of 100. Oh, I forgot. We've got the um the chest piece that gives us 50% chance of extra skill chance. So those four books could have been a potential eight books, which is fantastic. I'll take this whilst I'm here because I will forget. But I have a feeling that this mission is going to be a very long mission compared to the last one because it's an extremely large building. So all we can really do is run around and try not to die. I do have an extra stack of bullets in my inventory. So I've got two stacks for the M60. I've got one stack for... I'm always worried about people come behind me. One stack for... Oh, that was so close. One stack for the shotty. But all in all, I feel like if we can just keep using this stun baton to its... Get the pot out of the way. <laughs> to its most maximum advantage. We just might be all right. Well, this is very well done. Wow, I'm super impressed. That is that is pretty amazing. The way they make these POIs is absolutely phenomenal. I could never do it. I could even if I tried, it, it'd be terrible. <laughs> like it'd be so. I wish I knew how they did this. So 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 good. Off with your head. Now I, again, I'm searching everything, every nook and cranny. Because I just realised a hot second ago, it's actually clear as well as clear as well as doing the old um generator. Beds galore, which is good. Can't get out there, so it must be through here. Oh, nearly fell. Pick up the healings because it's healings. Now, can you just go around here? Uh, you can. Maybe that's where a zomboid... Zomboid. <laughs> My own drone scared me. Jumps out on you. Here's blood. That can only mean one thing. Care Bears around the corner. Okay, I feel like this just may be... Either main loot or the part where things get a little bit hairy. Let's try and get right into a corner somewhere. I knew there'd be a dog. I knew there'd be a dog. Uh, let's try and do this. Sweet. Uh, how many's coming? Oh, there's a vulture. There's a vulture. Uh, okay, let's see if we can do this. Up here, we can. Oh, another vulture. Nice. All right, don't want to fall off the wall, but how many of you? One, two, three. There's about five or so. How are you going to get to me? You're coming into the corner. Oh, there's a mutant over to the right, so a bit careful. That little mutant over there. Can I actually... That'll do. That's enough shooting. Shooting's getting boring. <laughs> Let's go smack him in the face. Take some of that big boy. Clear area. So I think most of the outside of here is done now. Let's just run around, try and spawn things in. Very. I'm so impressed with how they do these things, honestly. Really, really impressed. Right, nothing seems to be spawning, so I think the outside is clear, which means there's only the inside left, if I am not mistaken. Oh, this is good. Unlocked. Very, very cool. Let's quickly check in here, though. Uh, you're locked. What's in this elite direction here? Right, you're open, so it must be in here we go. I like to smack these out of the way, just in case. Uh, I'm going to forget about this. We'll pick this one up. Now, I was thinking a minute ago, this is a head of a big POI. Not so many zombies, I won't lie. But super duper duper big POI. I don't think we're going to get a chance to go around the whole thing and loot the whole thing. Oh, God. The whole thing again. So I think we might just go around, grab certain bits before we leave. Because I do want to get that nice little shack built up that we can live in for a couple of days. Maybe this may have been the vultures up here, which have since spawned. Not too sure. Yeah, it probably was the vultures. So I'm guessing... I'm guessing we've done the top floor. We've done the bottom floor. There's a bear. Uh, oh, he's fighting a zomboid, zomboid. There's another bear over there. So I'm guessing it's just down now, is it not? Uh, yep. It's Oh, because of the gate. Sorry, ignore me. Silly, silly me. Let's let them spawn. Let's let them come running. Can we off with your head? We can't. Can we off with... Can we off with your head? We can. Fantastic stuff. Plastic right there. Uh, unlocked. Right, this is where things will get very, 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 very bad. Right, so we can run upstairs and around... We get stuck there. We can jump on the bins and up. Okie dokie. Let's see if we can get this working. Just trying to gain access to them. So they seem to have spawned up the top up here. Can we kill you? Uh, yes. And can we kill you? Down you come. Good, sir. And let's try that all over again, shall we? Hey, we are not alone. and it's working. Makes a run for it. You're going to come from the top as well? Where are you going to come from? You're coming from the inside? Is there an inside? Oh, I heard a drop. I did hear a drop. Where did you come from? 
You Oh, at the top. It must have opened doors at the top, I'm guessing. I need a zap. There's the zap. Exactly what we needed. Sweet. Oh, and it's if his head is just waiting for me. Can we take it off? No, we can't. But can we take yours off? Uh, as if your head's waiting for me as well. And we can't take it off. But it's still a clear area. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing we go up. Because we haven't been here yet, have we not? And there's a light. Let's open. Uh, so you come from in here. Which I'm guessing, I'm guessing there's nothing much in here. There's so much to loot still though, which is quite uh, quite an important thing we do need to do. Check around the back just in case. Oh, a bit of lag there. I wonder what's going to happen after all that lag. What are you? You what I think you are. Yes, you are. Can we take... Oh, two shots, two kills. Privation. Two sh Oh, no. Two shots, two kills. I think that's probably where we need to go. Is down below. Have we been in here? Have we been in here? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. I knew it. Oh, it's the big tanky thing that takes a million hits to kill. And then she can accidentally one shot its head. Let's keep whacking on its noggin and it's dead. Uh, knife four knife, guys. We're getting so much. So, so much. Super impressed. Right, so what's this now? Uh, oh, you can climb these ropes, can't you? Yeah. Up we go, up we go. Around, probably fall underneath us. Uh, oh, this is going to be so bad. <gasps> right, are we reloaded? We are, are we reloaded? We are. Right, Primation, fingers crossed and pray. Wait, we've got a point before we go in. Whilst I remember, strength, heavy armor, give to me two more and we can hopefully max it out. Let's go! Yes. I have a very bad feeling too. I, I need to put this somewhere. Put you here. Put you. Put you somewhere, please. Put you here. All right, let's now get the battle out and let's try to survive. Nice, and it was the turret. Turrets that done all the work and actually saved my booty because my stamina was draining like mad because of that um, radiation. Good, 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 good stuff. We've done it. Another mission has been done. And only in a couple of hours as well. So as always, let's get these boxes open. Working stiffs. Bucking pills. And is that it? Uh, oh, there's another bit of loot over there as well. But whilst we're here, let's open the lab equipment. And let's see what we have. Fist, just because. Oh, another honey. That's good for making the abart sauce. Uh, these we can just sell. Let's see what's in the main loot first of all. Hey, done. Uh, we didn't get the books we're after. Two acids. Uh, some stuff to sell. 500 squandoodies. Nothing too crazy. We got these. Let's head in here. That we have cleared already, which is fantastic. Large ammo pile. Level 5 sledge, you could probably sell that. Oh, I didn't put the mods in the thing. Or is that picked up? Not sure, can't remember. Either way, let's open this bad boy. Just in case there's books we can sell, of course. Right, I have a choice. Do I go around doing all the looting now? That is that is a thing that I need to be thinking about. Uh, I left all stuff in here. I didn't put them in the bloody boxes that I made. I'm so stupid. Right, uh, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll tell you what I'll do. Since I'm here, I will go around... Uh, can I squeeze through, please? Thank you. With the little wrenchy poos. With, with, let's change maybe the Desert Vault chart for the wrench. And I'll wrench up all the things that I need. Because, again, electrical parts is a big thing that we most definitely, definitely need. Because we're left with one. I think there's 77 in the box. So if we can leave with another 77, I think we're laughing for a good few in-game weeks. And I think after this primation, I think we're going to be done. I've been there quite a lot of hours and I still want to get the little cabin built. So we've got the last few little bits and I'll show you what we've got. We've picked up a substantial amount of stuff and honestly, we've barely even scratched the surface. If we had a bit more time and the horde wasn't just a day or two away, I think I'd probably stay and do the whole thing. Because if you wrenched up and carved up this whole area, you would leave with a ridiculous, and I mean a ridiculous amount of resources. Last little bits that might be worth looting before we leave. 
keep looking here. A bit of paper. And can we get out nothing? That's bulletproof glass. Uh, oh, yeah, we get this fast for here. Can we open you? Already open. Last little bags. We found so much. I left a couple of snippets in because we found some really, really, really decent loot as well. I will grab this because it's plastic. And the last little few bits here because this is kind of like a semi a semi main loot room. Bit of awesome sauce. Good stuff. Switch to this bad boy. A little look in here. Uh, foods I'm just taking because we're out and about. These also give parts as well. 94 electrical parts. That is bloody brilliant. Nice. We'll get these last two. And then we should call it a day. Hand this in and go and get the mission complete. And last but not least, we find home cooking. Sweet. Grab that just because we can. I just saw, sorry, I just saw this as well. Let's go ahead and, oh, can I knock it out here? Yes, we can. I need to get that plastic. Super important. And I'll get this just for our new little base look good. Right, again, I could be doing this whole thing. There's lights everywhere. Oh, look at that blue. There's things absolutely everywhere. But to be honest, we've just got too much to do. And I really want to get a new base built. So I'm going to hang a Louie. Head on out. Oh, I'm going to... Oh, there's so much stuff. I'm going to get us back to the base. And I'll see you guys. I need to take some of this. That's recipes. Uh, turret ammo. Come on, come on. Get rid. And pick this up. Sweet promotion. I'll see you all at the trader. Wait, I found more primation. Sorry, sorry. Apologies. I went up to the roof. I found a box. So I'm bringing you along for the ride. Uh, we'll read that just because. And also, I found these solar cells. We're going to wrench these. And now I'll see you. Oopsie. At the trailer. Oh, things are happening. Primation. Sorry, I keep saying see you at the trailer. But I've just seen this. I must have missed this the whole time. An orange munitions box. Couple of bits. Uh, if we take our uh, inventory out. And we wrench this bad butt for a couple of bits of steel. We can still pick up these bad boys. Smash this up. And now for sure, for sure, I'll see you guys in just a moment. Third time, we're going to try now. I'll see you guys at the trader. My guy, we are back. I have gone ahead and emptied all the inventory, collated some of the stuff that we have. And I just realized a second ago, we've got a rifle world. We'll read that. We've got one tactical, which brings us to 92 M60 level 5. We have eight books left to be able to unlock it. And whilst going through the inventory, I also realized I didn't get the safe that was inside. So we may have had a whole lot more old cash oh, to sell, but I didn't get it because I'm a silly bugger. We'll take the crafting. We'll actually take the gas because I've got one stack left. And then I think I've got one stack, 1,000, and then this 8,000. So I've got about 2,000 gas left-ish, something like that. So it'd be worth grabbing that bad boy there. Any jobs, anything close? Oh, he's actually, uh, he's done a bit of a restocky stock, hasn't he? What's this 2.9? Minotaur Theater. Let's take that bad boy and then let's go ahead and sell all of the stuffs. Nice. And then we'll go ahead and open the uh, bundles right here, which we have a couple of bows, a couple of fists, and a couple of tactical warfares. We're up to 95, 95 books. He actually restocks today, I believe. Day 64. Uh, it's, look at the top there, day 61. So he does actually restock today. Oh, right, first of all, do you have... Oh, you don't. I was going to say, do you have any bookie wookies that we need? But it seems you do not. Although we could go ahead and get some explosives. I think we will. The rest we'll find in and around town. Let's have a check. Do you have... Do you have any solar cells? So, oh, you've got a tier three. Oh, how much money we got? Uh, 31k, that's 30, I'll be essentially 38k. We've got a couple days to get that before Horde. I think that is actually a really, really good idea because I've been looking for these for ages. 3,000, I've got all my stuff back at base as well. All of the, all of the cheesecakes and, or Rocket Lodge level one, all the cheesecakes and stuffs and bits and pieces. So we may fly back during maybe tomorrow to get back in time for the Horde. But first things first, let me... Let me leave you there. Actually, what I can do is I can put the fuel saver in here. Now we've got two of them. Brilliant. Let's head over to the boxes, over to the base real quick. <laughs> over to the boxes, over to the base. Yes, yeah, such a such a big base primate. Well done. <laughs> good, because it's a primate. Well done, well done, sir. So, so apart from the bullets, the monies, and a couple of bits, there's really not much here, as you can see. Um, all this isn't going to be sellage. We did have what we do have. What's that? 82 parts, uh, 55. Can we do this? 265 parts in total fantastic we've got a couple of legendary parts got some awesome sauce a couple of bits and pieces here we've got some bits 
Sweet, did I pick up any wood? I did not, and we got some fuel. Right, Primation, it's time for me to get some resources to build ourselves our little cabin in the woods. And we can come here from time to time when we fancy a break from our desert biome, a break from building back a base. But we need a little holiday. Let me grab some more guys and start building a base. And the little reload, and we're done. So what I actually probably should do is go ahead and make a few more building blocks. Just another 200, uh, sorry, 200 or so. Because this might take quite a few blocks. I'm not going to dig into the ground just yet. What we need to do is we're going to go for a little kind of log cabin feel. Now, I didn't bring a nail gun, but I'm sure we could either swing back and get one at some point. Maybe uh, when we come back, we can upgrade it. But for now, we could get a little stone axe if need be, or even build or buy something. But for now, let's go ahead and build a little thing. Where's a trader? Traders that way. Let's build a little log cabin. It's probably facing the lodge. Nah, let's, let's, let's make it facing, facing this way. Let's make it facing the nice scenery. Even though going for a snowstorm right now, it looks good. Right, enjoy the montage primation. I'll see you guys in a hot, hot minute. I'm primation. I think we are doing a thing. Where's a catch? He's over there. Yeah, it's getting there. Definitely getting there. I feel like we do need a couple more windows on the outside. So let's go ahead and copy this bad boy. And if we turn around, just give maybe a little one uh, here. And a little one maybe here. Just give it a bit more, a bit more character. Maybe even make that a little bit bigger because that's really, really small. Uh, that's what she said. Uh, we put this in here, put this here. Bang, 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 bang. Let's have a little look now. What are we saying, guys? It's definitely getting there. Once it's upgraded, we've got the floor in. It should look nice and cozy. Let's grab the torch. That should be somewhere in here. I think I picked one up. Was I smart enough? Oh, no, I shot it with a shotgun. No, I was going to pick one up, but I shot it with a shotgun, and I completely blew it up instead. God damn it. Okay, never mind. Primation. I am not going to upgrade this shit. We're going to work on this as we go through the next couple of days. We've got a bit, of a, a bit of a foundation, a bit of a layer now. Next episode, we're going to do a bit more grinding. I really want to get that tier 6 M60. Let's see how far away we are from it. I think it was just... Oh, sorry. It was, uh, it was five away, wasn't we? Yes, indeed. Just down here, five away. So five more books. Hopefully, we'll get this in the next episode. And we can make ourselves a level 60 ready for the horde on day 64. Three or four, I think it's quite cool. But Ramation, hope you enjoyed. Smash like if you did. First time here, do consider subscribing. Get crafting for survival. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Now, I won't lie, Ramation. This is probably not the best use of time. <laughs> but it's fun and it's something I wanted to do. I wanted to try and get a bit more. I killed the cat, by the way. Trying to get a bit more uh, of the base built in this episode before we finish up. So as you can see, got the first front bit upgrading. And it's looking better already. But I'll keep going through a tiny bit more. And it's time to start next episode. But promotion as always. I'll catch you in the next one.